Hi there students, Quanda. It's a really formal word to mean former, something that was something else in the past. So, for example, I think uh, soon Theresa May is going to be a Quandam Prime Minister, a former Prime Minister. In my Quandam job as a, uh, uh, an antique dealer, I used to do a different type of work, okay? So, that once was. The building is now a hotel, but it is a quandam mental asylum. Okay, so this word quandam says what something used to be. A former mental asylum. Yeah? Um, maybe a country changes its name. Yeah? So, uh, Myanmar, quandam Burma. Okay, what the name in the past, what it used to be. Notice this is a formal word, yeah? It's really good for your written essays, for your CPE essays and things like that, for a report or that type of thing. Quandam comes directly from Latin, and quandam actually means formally, previously, yeah? So quandam, previously known as, formerly known as, formerly in the past, yeah? Um, let's see, the UK now uses pounds, shillings and pence, yeah? But the quondam pound had 20 shillings in a pound and 12 pennies in a shilling, okay? So, quondam, what something was formerly in the past, that once was, yeah? Um, he was very famous in the past, his quondam fame, yeah, his former fame, okay? So, it's just saying something was something previously, yeah, in the past, yeah? A quondam prime minister, Tony Blair is a quondam prime minister, for example. So, there you go. It's an easy uh, phrase to use. It sounds pretty posh and is pretty difficult, is pretty formal, but it's not difficult to use. So anyway, enough. If you enjoyed the video, give it a rating, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you soon. Bye for now. Quandam.